All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It is Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there. And uh, yours truly right here. Uh, focus testing in Fleetwood Mac and hearing songs by the new guys from their old bands uh, or their current bands, whatever, however you want to look at that. That is the topic of this video. Here's the deal. And I've actually said this in other videos. I've said it about the Eagles. I've said it about a number of bands who bring someone in from a different band and then start playing some of that other band's music as part of the set. This is something relatively new. Uh, it's kind of the merger of all of the focus testing that goes on uh, that says, hey, how many Fleetwood Mac fans would love to hear Don't Dream It's Over? How many? You know, raise your hand. So uh, one person out of four raises their hand and they go, hey, well, we focus tested and we think that Fleetwood Mac fans are going to be okay with this brilliant guy, Neil Finn. Now look, if Neil Finn wanted to go out with Crowded House and sing all the Crowded House material and all the split end stuff and whatever other solo material he's got that people know, um, I'm, I'm cool with that because that's what you're expecting. You're paying money to see that person sing those songs. Okay. When I go to Fleetwood Mac, I'd rather hear say like, isn't it midnight or warm ways or think about you something, you know, maybe a, a kind of a deeper track that people have forgotten about. Uh, see, since I'm going to Fleetwood Mac and I'm not hearing any of this stuff anymore on the radio. What would be cool is if they expanded their playlist a little bit, played the hits, but played some deeper tracks. And, you know, because this is the only chance you're going to have to hear these songs anymore. Unless, of course, you go buy the album and you listen to it. But radio is not going to play it. What's happened is all of this marketing and focus testing. And this is why you pick somebody from a band like Crowded House and you say, now we've got to play this Crowded House stuff. Well, as a fan of the band I'm going to go see, I'm not interested in Crowded House unless Crowded House is opening for Fleetwood Mac and they play a set of their own tunes and then they leave the stage and then Fleetwood Mac comes on and plays their material. It's very simple. I have the same criticism of the Eagles bringing in Vince Gill songs to their set. No, I like Vince Gill. I've warmed up to Vince Gill as a member of the Eagles, but again, I'd like to hear After the Thrill is Gone instead of some Vince Gill uh, country track from the 1990s that most people in the stadium aren't going to know or care about. And that's even more of a stretch than the two hit wonder band Crowded House or the one hit wonder band Split Ends. Now Split Ends had other material, but I Got You is the most familiar. Uh, again, I don't think Fleetwood Mac fans cross over with the split ends a whole lot. I could be wrong. I know music is all becoming kind of generic now because everybody's kind of huddling together with the music that they used to listen to and love. So there's, there's not as much, say, debate about the old music anymore. If it's old, you know, people are happy about it. But for me, you know, again, same thing with Mike Campbell. He's not the lead singer of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Tom unfortunately left planet Earth last year, tragically. And unless, again, Roger McGuinn were to stroll up to a microphone somewhere and bring Mike Campbell with him and the rest of the Heartbreakers, Ben Tench and whoever else up there, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Don't call it Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers if you want to call it the Heartbreakers featuring Roger McGuinn on lead vocals. I'm okay with that in the context of a completely separate concert, not with Fleetwood Mac. But you see Irving Azoff, he does a lot of this focus testing. They all do now. It's just, it's a racket, folks. Things have changed. And the reason people are upset about Lindsey Buckingham leaving is not just because Lindsey was an institution. It's because the band now isn't what they once were. And now they're playing all this music that isn't Fleetwood Mac. And then they're going back to the Peter Green era, and I'd rather have Lindsay on board, who seemed to revere all of that music. He understood it, 
They studied it, both he and his former girlfriend, who is the boss of the band now. Um, before they joined, they learned all of this material and got really into it. And I think there, there are some elements of what Lindsey Buckingham does that kind of dovetail with the old Fleetwood Mac. Not so much with Neil Finn, a little bit with Mike Campbell, but again, you need somebody who can sort of execute the sound of Fleetwood Mac, and Campbell's style is so much different than Lindsey Buckingham's. Needless to say, you know, when I go see Fleetwood Mac, I'd like to hear Fleetwood Mac music. I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. Okay, done with this video. Be back soon. See you soon.